Gamble with the uh, Go Kart Guru Network and uh, just giving you an update of what we've been doing over the past year. Basically, what we've been pretty busy. Unfortunately, we haven't been putting out a lot of product because we've been bit so busy in other areas. For example, I've been doing some uh, video shooting. Uh, we put a camera on a vertical engine drive system at various angles, driving and so on. And so it's getting ready to put a video series out on a vertical engine drive. Uh, something you can uh, purchase or uh, I was thinking maybe about just putting it up as a down as a, a video. We'll just see. I'm not sure. So, um, you know, the issue with the vertical engine drive is that it's it's uh, a solution that you can just take care of, take a, advantage of a lot of horsepower, but also harnessing that horsepower can be quite a challenge. So I'm trying to expand with the vertical engine drive system to show the ins and outs of what you would do to be able to say harness a 18 horsepower vertical Kawasaki engine for example and be able to get it to work in your go-kart so um, it's not as straightforward as you'd think it would be and so I'm uh, I go down to into the engineering level of it so you can get things matched up properly um, I've also been working on a steering gearbox because on these double wide go-karts it takes a lot of steering oomph to get the, the go-kart to, to turn and uh, I don't recommend a double wide go-kart really for a beginner um, somebody who's making a go-kart for the first time because the double wide has a lot of steering dynamics which are pretty intense whereas on a regular go-kart a, a straight single seat or go-kart the steering isn't as bad uh, what happens is when you have a double wide go-kart is that the amount of steering force that is put onto the wheels doubles from over a single and as a result you have to put more force obviously into the steering system so the way to get around that and that's how most go-karts do is they put in some sort of rack and pinion or some sort of reduction so I've been trying to come up with a reduction which is simple enough and uh, because laser technology is out there and it's rel rel relatively available I was just going to put together a uh, planetary gear system which was pretty simple uh, the basic system would be something that would probably like bolt right underneath the steering wheel that was uh, one the other would be it would be down at the linkage. I'm guessing the one down at the linkage would be the most um, advantageous or most uh, economical. Also, we've been working on some uh, explain videos. Um, I think a lot of guys really liked our carburetor video and uh, our disassembly videos and assembly videos for uh, engines and so on. And I've been uh, thinking that I should be doing that for our other go-kart um, for our books so I was just going to basically put together a bunch of explain videos demonstrating what the book is talking about or even just do the book so uh, there's over 10 books so it's a lot of videos and a lot of time but it's what we're going to do um, also because the uh, video because a movie is coming out the uh, God Bless the Broken Road video, which was supposed to come out last year, but there were some issues with the uh, with the way that the the movie was uh, disseminated through theaters. So uh, it's been put on a delay for like a year, which is fine. Uh, it gives me more time to work on the Ethan Speedster, which is in that uh, that movie, and uh, basically what we had offered and we do offer is the Caleb Coop. We have a uh, four DVD set that shows step by step on how to do that to put it together. So we took our time and put a lot of video uh, into that and uh, into the Caleb Coop one. But also with Ethan Speaster, uh, the, the one that we made for the movie is is fine. However, I thought we should make one just a little bit bigger because we were under a time crunch when we made it initially and initially uh, we, we sized it around 
a different sized individual. So uh, the the one that we would be releasing on the uh, on the web page is a little bit larger, and so I've been working over the past year on developing prints for that, uh, a model, and so on. So we don't quite have that released yet. It takes a lot of work to get some of these out and to make sure all the you know prints match up and so on. So uh, I just wanted to re refocus on our. Um, I think people should understand what we're trying to do with the, the web page here. We're not trying to make a million dollars or anything like that. That's not the, our main focus. Our main focus is on putting a go-kart into your hands that you can make yourself. And um, for relatively cheap, you can buy for like 20 bucks go-kart plans and I think it was like 10 go-kart books or something like that for under 20 bucks. That's a great deal because it it goes through all the details, the issues that you're going to run into when you make a go-kart, like 50-50 weight distribution. You, you don't do that right, you're going to be not steering properly, and the go-kart's going to be unwieldy, and uh, also placement of the pedals. Believe it or not, that's pretty important. I've seen on, you know, I watch videos on the, on the uh, internet, and people are just willy-nilly placing pedals in there, and you, you can't just do that. You can get the pedal uh, placement wrong. Uh, you can put your feet in the wrong place, get tangled up in your legs and stuff like that. The linkage, actually what I'm talking about is the steering linkage. You can have, for example, a pedal that's pushed down and then you're pushing on the steering linkage at the same time. That's a bad combination. Uh, other things, uh, like I was saying, uh, the, the drive system. You don't, how many times I get somebody asking me about the drive system and why it's not working, why it's smoking, and so on. Well, you have to go through some calculations and figure out what's going on. Um, on our go-karts and the plans, we have a basic layout, which is pretty adequate for most um, terrain. However, you may have to put a, a reduction system or a, a variable clutch on there to get it to do uh, performance better, especially if you're going off-road. Our main focus is making a go-kart that you can make yourself and it helps you understand basic mechanics, electronics, electrical wiring, uh, strength of materials, and dynamics on a go-kart and how it uh, operates. So we're going to put out more this year and uh, keep in tune to our channel and we'll keep uploading more videos.